The second and last control of the cryptography clause is called key management. The control states that a policy should be defined, that deals with the secret key use and protection. Secret keys go through a life cycle, from being generated to eventually being discarded. The policy should cover the security of the keys throughout their life cycles. Specific measures should be applied at each stage. After the management has decided on the strength of the security keys, the particular technical details of the key generation should be decided and maintained, such as the used algorithms and key lengths. Once generated, secret keys should be secured from unauthorized access, change, or copying. The tools used to generate the keys should be secured as well, physically, and logically. Procedures of how to generate keys should be defined, how to distribute them, how to store them, how to update them, how to revoke them, and how to archive and recover them. In some situations, temporary keys have to be issued, for example to a user for remote access through a VPN. Once the need is over, the keys have to be discarded, or the connection disabled. Logs should show when the keys were issued and revoked. The management of public keys, and the obtaining of public certificates should be maintained. The certificate authority should provide services allowing for certificate life cycle management. An agreement should govern the relationship with the certificate authority, covering liability and reliability issues.